Hi everyone, it's Felix, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be exploring the principles of shoulder health, understanding how to protect this vital joint. Then we'll discuss the importance of structural balance, a concept that ensures your muscles work in harmony, preventing imbalances that can lead to injury or stored progress. Finally, we'll break down the intricacies of scapular positioning, which plays a key role in unlocking advanced calisthenic skills and maintaining proper form during training. Whether you're aiming to master challenging skills like planche and front lever, or you're focused on maintaining a pain-free and functional body, understanding these fundamentals is key to building a strong and resilient body. I'll guide you through the concepts that will help you achieve optimal alignment, balance and strength, setting you up for long-term success in your calisthenics journey. If you are a calisthenics athlete, you would have noticed that all calisthenics skills require engagement of the shoulder. It is the only joint in the body with the most range of motion, so taking care of it and understanding it is really important. In calisthenics skills like planche and front lever, protraction and retraction is required. The reason being is that retractive and protractive muscles have to engage in order to provide a solid base for the shoulder to exert force. For example, in the front lever, the rhomboids need to contract in order to attain a retracted position, so the posterior deltoid can exert force and vice versa for planche, the serratus anterior needs to contract in order to attain a protracted position so that the anterior deltoid can exert force. The positioning of the scapula comes first, before the shoulder is able to exert maximum force. So the key to maintaining good structural balance is to work on exercises that offset one another. For example, if you have been training a cycle of planche, consider a front lever cycle afterwards, or vice versa. This will balance out the development in your shoulder so that there is no dominant contraction in one part of the shoulder causing poor posture and potential injury. By keeping structural balance, both your protractive and retractive muscles will be balanced out, and so will your anterior and posterior deltoids. Planche and front lever are good examples of horizontal pulling and pushing skills that help to attain this balance. You will also want to have a balance of vertical pulling and pushing skills such as one-arm pull-up and handstand push-ups. If there is continuous imbalance, for example cycles upon cycles of only planche training, there will be a lot more potential for rotator cuff injuries and tightness in the chest. If you are also doing skills like Hefesto, which requires a protracted position, the included elbow flare used in the movement can also contribute towards rotator cuff injuries if the athlete has poor structural balance. A way to mitigate this is to train specifically front levers as they engage opposing muscle groups in the back, such as scapular retractors, posterior deltoids, and external rotators. Another thing to note is that by overdeveloping either protractive or retractive muscle groups, you will be hindering progress in the opposing position. For example, if you train cycles upon cycles of planche, you will find that when you go back to training front lever, your progress may seem slower in comparison to other athletes who have good structural balance. This is because of resistance by the protractive muscles against the retractive muscles. A sign of poor structural balance is when you hear clicking, popping or cracking in your shoulder joints. A continuous imbalance can also cause your nervous system to compensate for this by limiting force development and engaging other muscle groups in order to mitigate poor posture. This is again simply a protection mechanism that we need to work with in order to channel it in our favour. A few other things you can do to mitigate imbalance is rotator cuff exercises with a resistance band to strengthen the rotator cuff muscles. Also consider protractive and retractive exercises with a resistance band to engage the muscles around your scapula to oppose the imbalance. You can also perform stretches with a resistance band to engage a retractive or protractive position and use band dislocations to improve shoulder range of motion and mobility. I want to give a shout out to Effortless, Ultimate AU, Science Squad and Gore Nation for the clothing, equipment and accessories provided here today in this video. Effortless is an NZ calisthenics brand and provides calisthenics clothing and accessories. Ultimate AU is an Australian calisthenics brand and provides calisthenics equipment, clothing, accessories and hosts Australasian wide calisthenics competitions. Science Squad is an Australian calisthenics team has competed in multiple calisthenics competitions all over Australasia. And Gore Nation is arguably the world's largest calisthenics equipment and clothing provider. Before we end this video, if you are interested in personal training, please fill in the Google form in my bio. 
I will also drop the link in the description of this video. And follow me on Instagram at Felix underscore NG 2K03. That is where I post a lot of my calisthenics content. And if you're keen to see a tutorial for another calisthenics skill, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can put together. I love you all and thanks for watching.